Welcome back. You're watching Nation at 5 with me, Poonam Burde. There's some breaking news that's now coming in and this is a statement that has been put out by Congress's Jairam Ramesh. This is over the offensive that Israel has mounted, especially as far as uh, hospitals in Gaza is concerned. This is a statement that has been put out by Jairam Ramesh in which he is urging uh, the Indian government to pressurize governments of US, Israel and the EU to stop this violence that is being committed in Gaza. Some very strong words that are being used and let me take you through uh, the statement that Jairam Ramesh has now put out. This is what uh, the Congress is now saying that after blockading fuel, power, medicines uh, and humanitarian aid for weeks on end, hospitals are now being targeted militarily. Even premature infants are being deprived of medical care. Over 10,000 people have been killed, of which more than half are a children. All of this while statements of genocidal intent from top Israeli leadership are being made. Prime Minister Netanyahu has himself called for turning parts of Gaza to rubble and has called the wanton killing of men, women and children collateral damage. This is the kind of dehumanizing language that is used by some Israeli ministers, which is like the language that preceded the Holocaust. So, so some so, strong uh, comments there coming to the fore as far as the Congress's statement goes. Pallavi, my colleague, joining us, getting us more details about this. Yes, Pallavi. And in fact, the stand of the Congress party has also gotten a lot of criticism from the BJP that the Congress seems to be defending those who are uh, indulging in acts of terror, that is a Hamas or terrorist organization, though the Congress clarified that it has been India's foreign policy where we support the two-nation uh, theory, while at the same time you, do, you condemn Hamas as a terrorist organization. But India has always stood by Palestine and therefore, of course, the people who are living in the Gaza, which is the most vulnerable zone. Now, in this latest statement, which could be open to criticism from the BJP, the reason why Congress is taking the stand is because there have been stories of uh, hospitals being bombed and by the Israeli or the IDF forces. And therefore, he has urged the Indian government that you have to speak. The Prime Minister needs to speak to the Israeli counterpart and make the point that these kind of attacks will need to stop. In fact, we did have the Prime Minister this morning, Pallavi, also speak about the same thing that civilians must not be collateral damage and that really has been the stance of uh, many other world powers as well, including Canada and the United States, who have cautioned uh, Israel and its forces to not cross the line. In fact, the Prime Minister and in the foreign policy statement which has been issued by the MEA as far as the situation in Israel is concerned, they've made this point very clear that India shares a good equation as far as Israel is concerned but also with the Palestinian forces, with Palestine as well. And when India is urging for humanitarian crisis in Gaza to end, it is therefore not supporting Hamas at all. Uh, at this point of time, uh, what the BJP accuses the Congress is of lopsided outrage, that you are only outraging over what's happening in Gaza, Why why not about the fact that many people in Israel area have also been vulnerable, they've been targeted by Hamas. So if you want to show your support, you need to show it for both. Right. Do stay on with me, Pallavi. BJP Shahzad Poonawala now joining us here on this broadcast. Shahzad, thank you so much for speaking with us here. If you've seen the statement that has been put out by uh, Jaram Ramesh of the Congress Party, some very strong words there being used. Also an appeal to the Indian government to call on not just Israel, but to other world powers and other allies as well to stop the civilian killings in Gaza. This is a uh, vote bank ki aisi hai pyaas ki pyara lagta hai inko Hamas. This is all being driven by vote bank politics. First of all, this is not an issue between Israel and Palestine. On the Israel-Palestine issue, the government stand in the past, the government stand today is the same. And we have in fact said human sent humanitarian aid to the people of Palestine. By the way, West Bank is also Palestine and does not have uh, Hamas. Gaza has Hamas. But the point is that you've read the statement Except for one line, Hamas's condemnable attack. Now, they don't even call it a terror attack. Even if you go back to Sonia Gandhi's article in The Hindu, she refuses to call Hamas's actions as terrorist attack. Congress's original CWC statement, they refused to call out Hamas for the terror attack. It seems that Palestine bahana hai, Hamas ke bacha mein aana hai, kyunki vote bank ko sajana hai. This seems to be driven more by vote bank considerations than anything else, because I'll tell you a couple of reasons. If they really care about innocent lives, and particularly innocent Muslim lives, Yemeni's children are being killed on a daily basis. Guess who's bombing them? Not the Jews, not the Israelis. Who is bombing them? Who's killing the Muslims in Iraq, Iran, Libya, Sudan, Somalia? It's all Muslim factions killing the other Muslim factions. If they are standing up for a principle of innocent Muslims or innocent lives, then why not utter a word there? And what about the 1,400 innocent people, women, children, senior citizens, babies who were killed by Hamas? 
This is a statement in support of terror, as has been done by the Congress in the past, whether it's Yaqub or Afzal or 2611. And now this Congress seems to be playing this dangerous game of aligning with even the most outrageous terror outfits only for the sake of vote bank politics. Shahidah, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. Pallavi continues to be with us. The BJP, of course, latching on to the statement that has been put out by the Congress party. The BJP says this is nothing but vote bank politics and politics of appeasement by the grand old party. The statement that has now been put out by Jairam Ramesh uses some very strong words as far as uh, the ground offensive that has been mounted by the Israeli side in Gaza. We've seen several hospitals that were uh, uh, stormed into by IDF forces, all of which served to be... Uh, Hamas basis is what the IDF claimed. They even released proof to that extent. The Congress though now wanting uh, a ceasefire also for government of India to intervene and pressurize not just Israel but other allies into calling for a ceasefire as well. The political war of words over this only escalating. This also comes at a time when we had the Prime Minister this morning also call for uh, restraint, also call for civilian lives to not be caught in the crossfire. Rashid Alvi of the Congress Party now joining us here on this broadcast. Sir, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. We've seen this comment, we've seen this statement that has been put out by Jairam Ramesh. We just had someone from the BJP just a few minutes ago speak to us about it. They say that this is vote bank politics, which is why we only hear about uh, the killings in Gaza, but there's very little that has been spoken of, of what Hamas actually did on the 7th of October, where innocents were killed and not just Jews, but foreign nationals were killed as well in that terror attack. I think Prime Minister himself has given a statement and he has condemned children are being killed, women are being killed and he has condemned this. If Congress party says that uh, there should be ceasefire, what is wrong in it? I am unable to understand. Definitely ceasefire should be there and it is not only Congress party. I think uh, half of the world they are demanding, they are putting pressure on Israel and on United States to stop this war. Children are being killed. How can you support Israel or any country? <clears throat> they are killing uh, innocent children and innocent women. More than 11,000 people have been killed so far. So definitely Congress party uh, wants and the Congress party is asking our prime minister to talk uh, with different countries, head of these states, uh, and put pressure on Israel to stop it. Sure, we've seen, uh, like you pointed out, uh, Mr. Alvi, we've seen several other countries also come out and caution uh, Benjamin Netanyahu and the Israeli forces to show restraint and uh, so that uh, innocent civilians, especially infants and babies, are not caught in the crossfire. But the IDF says that this is the right to self-defense, one that many countries around the world have also backed. Whether it is self-defense if you are killing children and women, how can you call it self-defense? What Hamas has done, definitely nobody can support it. But at the same time, what Israel is doing, definitely nobody can support it also. You can't say it is self-defense. 11,000 people have been killed. Is it self-defense? Not at all. I do not know... How can Bharti Janta Party think like this? It is very unfortunate and definitely uh, India should put pressure on Israel and even on United States uh, for the ceasefire. Right, Mr. Alvi, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. The Congress there putting out a statement calling for immediate ceasefire, asking for uh, Government of India's intervention. The BJP sees this as nothing but a political ploy.